He's only 36 holes into his live golf career, but John Rahm has already demonstrated why he could be the best golfer in the world. Rounds of 67 and 68 have him poised to pounce, and his brand new team, Legion 13, are seeking debut glory as well. Waco Neiman is still the favorite, and his Torquay GC are in pole position. The individual title will go all the way, and all four scores counted, a wild team shootout. Brooks Kepka, his second at one, his smash GC looking for at least a podium finish. They're nine under par in third place, four back of Torquay. <laughs> Big day for Tyrrell Hatton and Legion 13. They are three shots back looking to take the title in their inaugural event in Live Golf, our expansion team. A fine start the Championship Sunday for Tyrrell Hatton. This for Birdie at the first. Oh yes, Brooks Kepka to within five of our leader, Wako Neiman. Elsewhere, the Crushers are in fifth place right now. This is Bryson DeChambeau's fourth shot at eight. What a start for him. Tricky start for Wako Neiman. Can he hold it together here on Championship Sunday? Slightly different wind today. Yesterday was southeast. Today's more south southwest. Oh, it's a wonderful effort. It's exactly what he needed. That'll settle the nerves somewhat. This is the fifth. Cam Smith with a long one for Eagle. This is at the second. The Fireballs captain seeking a first live golf title. He's come close on numerous occasions, and that is a fantastic start for Sergio. Tyrrell Hatton coming off the short miss at seven. This is for birdie at eight. Oh, oh that'll yes. cheer him up. That is Joaquin Neiman's ball. Uh, man, that is in the mangroves and unquestionably unplayable. Okay, now we've got a similar situation here that uh, cost him a couple of shots overnight. So he will place the ball where it last first touched the uh, cart path, and now he'll take relief from the cart path where he'll get one club length. It's hard to block it out, but he's got a job to do. I think. Oh, it's a terrific shot. Gutsy. Terrell Hatton, his second shot at the ninth from a decent line, the rough it looks like. Oh, right at it. What a beautiful shot. Terrell Hatton. Another opportunity to tie the team lead, and he takes it this time, Tyrrell Hatton. Legion 13, the expansion team. It's their Live Golf League debut. Well, Cam has started with four birdies on Championship Sunday, and he's reached the tee at eight. Yeah, that was a pretty swing, and another great chance. Yeah, that's uh, about an 80% chance to be five straight, the way he putts. Cameron Smith is a man in red hot form so far today. He's got it to eight under. That's five consecutive birdies. And remember, back to Tulsa last year, he went round in 61 on Championship Sunday to make a playoff. Sergio Garcia makes his move as well. His ball's sitting in a groove, a rake groove. So it's sitting down slightly. You can see he's got the club face wide open. He's got about 18 or 20 feet of green to work with. Everything's downhill. So it 
just needs to get this on the green. Beautifully. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Probably all cut to the right. Burmester for par. It's a left to right putt as well for Dean. Yeah. Nicely done. Dean Burmester stays at 10 under, one behind Waco Neiman. Bryson DeChambeau's crushers. It's looking unlikely they'll defend their Maya Coba team crown. They're currently in fifth place on eight under par. That's four behind a podium finish at the moment. That was his tee shot at 15. He's at it again, Tyrrell Hatton. This is for birdie at 13, the par five. Cam Smith, his second shot at 11. Just cooled off over the past couple of holes, a par and a bogey after opening his round on Sunday with five birdies. But there's another opportunity for him. Charles Howe III, are the crushers making a move? Last year's champion team and champion individual. Here he is with a birdie opportunity at eight. Beautifully done. Well, Greg, what do you think he's going to do here? Well, he's got to be uh, remembering what he did on the last hole, right? He caught a little bit steep and bladed just a smidgen, about 15, 20 feet too far. So uh, similar type of shot. He's got to be very crisp here, downwind. Um, so he's he's only got about a three or four foot area to land the ball in. He's got to bite hard. And oh, it does. What a shot. He landed it right in that area, Greg. And pulled it up tight. Caleb Surratt, his second at 12. Dead center of the fairway. His coach, Brennan Webb at the University of Tennessee, said the best middle to long iron player he has seen in college. Look at this kid go at 19 years old. This would give Legion 13 a three shot lead over Tord K as well. That's more like it, John yeah. Rahm. Back to nine under within two of Waco Neiman. And he's Legion 13 marching three clear of Torque. In fact, it's now four because Caleb Surat with another birdie. What a performance this young man is putting in. Cam from the difficult 12th, his second shot. Five birdies in a row to start his day. Threw a bogey in there, but this is a really good chance at 12. The most difficult hole on the course. Cam for birdie at 12. And this will be a rare one. <laughs> Cam is five under par today. Caleb Surratt for Eagle. Oh. Well, he makes birdie there, and that extends Legion 13's lead to five. This would be six if Tyrrell Hatton can drain this from distance for a birdie. He wasn't far away. Oh, goodness oh. me. <laughs> DJ, trying to do one better here. And he has. The 11th green, Dustin Johnson has this for birdie to get to eight under par. Oh, yes. On Championship Sunday, this is going all the way. Brooks Kepka for birdie at 10. Oh, yes. You wouldn't rule out a surge from Brooks Kepka on Championship Sunday. He's got the wind in his sails. He's only three back of the leaders. Richard Bland. It was his birthday yesterday. He was 51. Uh, he's not showing any sign of it oh. right here. Yes! Oh, ho, ho, ho. happy birthday, Richard Bland. The fifth ace 
in Live Golf League history, oh, and Blandy gets it to oh, six God. under par. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we have nine holes to play. Miles away here for John Ron. That's very good. Really good. Sergio did tap in for his birdie. And Rom. Tiny little tester for par. He'll head to the short par for 11th, two back of Sergio Garcia and Waco Neem. And now, I mean, I hate to jinx him, but he's on 59 watch now. Seven under par already. Yeah, you've got to be careful here at 17. Is a beautiful little short par four, but anything right of the flag stick and long, uh, that's good. That's exactly where he was aiming. And Hatton is having one heck of a day. This is for birdie at 17. Well done. <laughs> He's right there at eight under. Brooks now at the 12th. Oh, he's going to move to two back. So how did Stinger all of a sudden find themselves in second place? Well, Louis Oosthuizen had a run of four consecutive birdies after he bogeyed his opening hole. That was his second shot at six. Charles Schwartzel, uh, inaugural winner way back when in 2022 in London. That was for birdie at one. And in fact, Brandon Gray started the day on nine over par, but he is needed today. And he's three under, that was birdie at eight. Next to Neiman at 12. Get there, son. Well, it was worth waiting for. Get it. Get it. Now, Waco Neiman to extend his lead back to two. Well, what an experience this is for Marco Neiman. Well, Caleb Surratt, his second shot at 18 here, and this is a huge test of nerve for the young man, 19 years of age, coming off that double bogey seven, triple bogey seven, where he yeah. four put it. How's that? That's a good comeback. Sergio Garcia at 15 to tie the lead. The answer is in the affirmative. Sergio Garcia seeking a first Live Golf title. This is the third shot at the par 5 fifth for Anaban Lahiri. That could be huge. The Crushers close to within three of Legion 13, and Anaban is all smiles. Graham McDowell, let's check in with him for the first time today. He is two over par today, now with Team Smash, led by Brooks Kepka as well. Where's that going? Into the hole. An eagle for Graham McDowell. Sergio, for the time being, has the lead. This is his third at 16. Yeah, and he can play this shot as well as anybody. Just clips it off the top. Is this Sergio Garcia's day? Nice. He just struck the ball superbly, you know, hitting wonderful shot after wonderful shot and hasn't been able to capitalize on it. Yeah, he's hit 80% of his green so far today. Oh, that's that's pretty strong stuff. Money, money, almost went the other way. You know, you just know how badly he wants it. Sergio leads by one. He's got two holes to play. Oh, Rom's liking this one. Oh yes, he yeah. wouldn't. Darn. To 
took a while for his round to get going. He's gaining momentum at just the right time. Vamos, John Rahm. Vamos, Sergio Garcia. Spain against Spain at the top of the pylon here in Mayakoba. They are 12 under par. Neiman at 16. Boy, he could do with a dart right now. Oh, what a wonderful shot. At this stage of the proceedings, that's a great effort. A 70 yesterday on Super Saturday, but then that two-stroke penalty that was adjudicated on this morning. Boy, that two strokes now, hey? How huge would that be? Neiman, a clutch birdie for the Chilean, and he joins John Rahm and Sergio Garcia on 12 under par. He won't go down without a stiff fight. Now Sergio to finish off. 65, 70, 66 for Sergio Garcia. Will it be enough for victory or a playoff? We will find out. What a tee shot yeah, this is. Yeah. From Joaquin Neiman. Yeah, he hit a big drive here yesterday as well. So obviously this hole does suit his eye from the tee. We have, we have him at 146, Suan. Oh, it's a beauty. <laughs> That to win. Now, Joaquin Neiman. It's left to right the whole way outside the hole. Penalized two strokes after an incorrect drop yesterday, but now has this to seal his first live golf title. Just all the way. Yeah, a little firm on that line. We will have the seventh individual playoff in Live Golf League history. Well, they both had long birdie opportunities at the first playoff hole. Sergio went first. And then after a somewhat fortuitous drop, Marco Neiman. What's the total? 94. 50 yards difference there. Yeah. And he's got to hope that this just comes screaming out of there. Good ride. Ride. Oh, it did. He got it to jump. That's a fabulous shot from there. Great contact. He was 89, 189 in the first playoff hole. 149. You heard Gary Matthews. So 40 yards difference from the middle of the fairway. Oh, get go. Go hard. Go hard. Go hard. Well, that well, should be a little uphill from there. And that is holdable. Well, it's a mighty fine effort by Sergio, but for the third time in the past half an hour or so, Waco Neiman knows that if he drains his next shot, he's the champion.
to win on the second playoff hole. And on we go. Just needed a little more speed right there. He knows it. He hit the line and left it short. And back to the 18th tee we go. Sergio to play first. Yeah, and he's a good 40 yards behind Waco. Yeah. Beautiful shot. So well judged. Well, that heaps the pressure on Waco Neiman. Be good. Oh, it looks good. Oh, it was right at it. Short. So that's the scenario on 18, the third playoff hole. Short. Waco to put first. That was always right, wasn't it? And and yet again, it's it's not enough to get to the hole. Yeah. Somebody please get a putt <laughs> past the hole. It's a playoff. Well, Sergio, for the first time, has the opportunity here to nail this thing shut. And he doesn't take it. 57 holes down, and they still can't be separated. And now it's decision time. <laughs> Sergio wants it. <laughs> Here, we Here we go. Good on them. A real sense of theater between these two. And we go again for a fourth playoff hole. And that might be the most popular decision all day today with the crowd here in Mayakoba. Well, at this point, guys, they can't quite see where the pin is. Going to have to pick a target on the 18th board somewhere in Club 54. Oh, that's oh. miles right. Oh, boy. Well, that would have been so much better off in the sand. <laughs> yeah, he's got some room to work with there, though. But, uh, yeah, I think he... Would much prefer that had gone down into the bottom of the bunker. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Driver's seat right there. Good shot. Thank God for the jumbotron. Savannah, did you get did you get a chance to look at the lie? I did. It is not good. Yeah, it's down there like a nesting gerbil. What a shot. Oh! Well, it's certainly advantage Waco Neiman now. Waco Neiman to win. A stunning show of character from Wacky Neiman in the crucible of pressure on Championship Sunday. In almost complete darkness, the Chilean shines bright and he wins his first Live Golf title in the most dramatic circumstances possible. It has been a staggeringly entertaining Championship Sunday here at Mayacoba, Mexico. Wacko Neiman is our champion. Thanks for being with us and goodbye for now.